Hello everyone. In this tutorial, we will create a stylized painted metallic shader. So let's start with this one. I will be using a sphere object here, but you can use any other object. Make the object smooth shade. Switch to the shading window so we can see our object in the top part and the shader editor in the lower part. Click the new button to create a material. I will rename it to Stylize Mat. First step is to add some colors to our object. Drag a point from the base color property and add a color ramp node. We will change the colors in a moment. From the factor value, drag a point and add a gradient node. You can see the colors are now visible on the object. I will change the gradient type to radial. You can also use linear or try other gradient type settings here as well. Click the gradient node and press Ctrl T. This will add a mapping and a texture coordinate node. Enable node wrangler add-on for this shortcut. In the color ramp, we will now start changing the colors. You can set any colors here as you like. I will make the left point to bright green color. Add a new point in the color ramp and change the color to dark blue. And the right color point to bright red. From the top corner viewport shading settings, I will increase the background HDR strength to 2 so we can see our changes more easily. Increase the metallic property value to 1, reduce the roughness value slightly. If you need to move the position of the colors on the object, then you can change values in the mapping node. Here you can rotate, scale, and move the colors on the object. Next, from the normal property, drag a point and add a Veronite texture node. You can see some pattern showing on the object. Change the type from 3D to 4D. From the vector property, add a linear light node. From the A point, add a geometry node connecting with the normal property. You can see our object now shows a low poly style effect on it. You can try changing the scale value in the Veronite node to see how it affects the overall look. From the B point, add a noise texture node. As soon as it is added, we can see our object shader looks different. You can try changing the scale and other values in the noise texture node to create unique results. With the noise node selected, press Ctrl T and add a mapping and a texture coordinate node. Change the connection type in the texture coordinate node to normal. Although the difference is small when comparing to generated property, normal property produces more details.
You can also try changing the noise texture node type to 2D or 4D to test different results. You can add your own colors, change values in the nodes to make any type of stylized look. One more thing we can do here is open the sheen. Change the weight value to 1 and use a bright color for a glow forming at the back of the object. If we try another different background HDR, our material will reflect that as well. You can even animate the material by changing the mapping node values and adding keyframes of different values. Coming back to our main viewport, switch to material preview. Let's add a new cylinder object. Apply the stylized material to it. It may not look correct at first, so right click and select smooth shade to show the material properly on it. If we use a shade flat look, then our object may give a low poly pixel style effect which actually can be useful as well in some cases. If you change the scale of the object, the material may look stretch. You can press Ctrl A and apply scale to reset the material settings on it. Next, we will switch to rendered view and add a sunlight I will change the strength value to 20 and use orange color. You can see how it affects the material. And from here you can experiment with your own changes. And this completes the tutorial. I hope you have found this video useful in some way. If you like to see more content in the future, then please consider giving this video a like, subscribe and turn on notification bell for new updates. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you in the next video.